and sisters in Christ, today's gospel passage from the book of Matthew invites us to reflect on Peter's declaration about Jesus. Jesus and his disciples found themselves in Caesarea Philippi, a place known for its diverse religious views. The Lord asks his disciples a question that remains ever relevant, who do people say that the Son of Man is? In this elite gathering of learned individuals, we are familiar with diverse opinions about Jesus, just as there were in Caesarea Philippi. Some said he was John the Baptist, others Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Yet, Jesus made it personal when he asked, But who do you say that I am? Here, Peter responds with a profound declaration, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus acknowledges this divine revelation, blessing Peter and affirming that this recognition didn't come from human understanding but was revealed by the Father in heaven. There are five key points I'd like to draw our attention to from this passage. Personal Revelation Peter's confession isn't just a regurgitation of the prevailing opinions, it's a personal understanding. Each of us is called to have our individual encounter and revelation of who Jesus is in our lives, not just relying on what others say. Foundation of the Church Jesus responds to Peter, saying, You are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. The faith and declaration of Jesus as the Messiah become the bedrock upon which the Church is established. Authority and Keys Jesus speaks of entrusting Peter with the keys of the Kingdom of Heaven, symbolizing authority. This points towards the responsibility and authority given to Peter to guide the Church. The Unshakable Church the promise that the gates of Hades will not prevail against the Church is a reassurance of the Church's enduring nature in the face of challenges. Binding and Loosing Jesus speaks of the authority to bind and loose on earth, connecting actions and decisions on earth with the divine realm. Let's connect this with the other readings of today. In Exodus chapter 40, the setting up of the tabernacle signifies God's dwelling among His people. Isaiah's vision in chapter 6 expresses a profound encounter with the holiness of God. Paul's letter to the Corinthians emphasizes the unity and diversity within the body of Christ. This profound encounter with Jesus, seen through Peter's confession, resonates with the teachings of the Church Fathers. Street Augustine beautifully said, Faith is to believe what you do not see, the reward of this faith is to see what you believe. Pope Francis often reminds us to be rooted in prayer and the Word of God, which strengthens our faith. His teachings call us to be a church that goes out, that engages with the world, a church of encounter and accompaniment. As we reflect on these passages and teachings, I am reminded of the Kerala context and current affairs. Just as Jesus asked the disciples who they believed Him to be, we are often bombarded with diverse views and ideologies. Our duty is to proclaim Christ as the living God, staying true to our faith while navigating the complexities of our world. Let us, like Peter, deepen our personal understanding of Christ, becoming the living stones of a church that stands firm against the adversities of the times, bringing the light of Christ to the world. May the Lord grant us the grace to understand and live out our faith in the varied situations we encounter, just as He blessed Peter for his confession. Amen. ഭജന ബയൽ ആപ്പ് എക്കാലത്തെയും ഭജന പഠനത്തിനുള്ള ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കുള്ള ഉത്തമ സഹായം ഇന്നു തന്നെ ഗൂഗിൾ പ്ലേ സ്റ്റോറിൽ നിന്ന് ഭജന ബയൽ ആപ്പ് ഡൗൺലോഡ് ചെയ്ത് വിവിധ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായി പഠിക്കാൻ ഈ ബുക്കുകൾ സ്വന്തമാക്കൂ ലോഗോസ് ക്ലബ് അംഗത്വമെടുത്ത് ലോഗോസിനായിരുന്ന ഭജന ബയൽ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്ത് മത്സര റിസൾട്ടുകൾ ആദ്യമറിയാം ഡബ്ല്യൂ 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 ഡോട്ട് ഭജന ബയൽ ഡോട്ട് കോം എന്ന സൈറ്റിലും ഈ ആപ്പ് ലഭ്യമാണ് എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കും സഭാവിജ്ഞാന ക്വിസുകൾക്കും പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും വേദപാഠ പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും സഹായിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ലക്ഷത്തിന് പരം ചോദ്യോത്തരങ്ങൾ എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായുള്ള പഠന സഹായം വചനമയം ആക്കും